I am bullish on Bitcoin, expecting higher price targets to come. Any dip that comes before that, I will buy the dip. Those were the exact words that I gave you inside of my last YouTube video update. And now we have seen that dip. We've seen a rise to the upside coming in with some breaking news right now about the Binance CEO pleading guilty to violating anti-money laundering requirements. This is coming in with a several billion dollar fine for Binance. And it seems as if CEO CZ is going to be stepping down as the CEO of Binance. So this is obviously major news that we're seeing right now. We are seeing the reaction on the chart as we speak. So I'm going to talk you through this, what I feel this means for the space and uh, you know how I'm going to treat it from a technical perspective and as a trader's viewpoint. So I think it's going to be a very interesting video indeed. Uh, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. I've obviously got some big, big volatility, which just gives great opportunity. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Uh, so yeah, as mentioned in the last video, I was, uh, you know, looking to buy any dip that we saw on Bitcoin. And I just want to play you a quick five second clip from my daily morning update that I gave to the champions today. Yeah, bigger support there for me for the long would be for around that weekly naked point of control on the range value area high. Well, that's nice support. Uh, builds up once again. If you see here, low to high, we come into the CC. So then if we build up another low to high, you can see that comes in around the CC. So, so that's what I was looking for my team today, looking down towards the NPC to the CC, which gave us this trade plan set up for a dip to the downsides. OK, just below that NPOC onto around the CC and then we look for that long trade entry. So that was my plan. That was me giving the biggest level of support I felt on the chart and then <laughs> done even better than that. Reminded my team before it was hit, you know, the target here sits at around thirty six thousand three hundred dollars as we hit that target. OK, about half an hour later, I'm telling my team the minute that I take it, I am taking the long trade. There's no delay there. There's no, um, you know, ifs, buts, maybes. It's clear as day, as I've done for the whole of this year, turn around and just telling my team with absolute confidence, positivity and just clearness. That was the target we were waiting for. We hit the target. And the minute I enter my long, I'm telling my team I am telling then I am taking now that long trade, okay? So that really gave us the most perfect reaction. So you can see the way that we come about making profits on this. And it's make the Bitcoin trade plan, okay, which is recognizing the biggest support, laying out the long trade setup. You know, then share the trading plan. And that was after that stream, you know, I'm reminding my team the target is 36,300 zone. Confirm the target ahead of time. Of course, then into the group and then confirm the minute I enter the long trade. There's no delay. There's no if, buts, maybes. It's I have taken the long trade while we're trading down here at the bottom. The Matt Champion members then have around, you know, 10 minutes while we go sideways down and around that long trade entry. And then everybody that took the long trade with me is sat in absolute brilliant profits as this is the CC pool way, another day, another day of profits. So you can see here how it's, you know, we wanted to see a dip. We wait for the dip. We confirm the trade. I myself, of course, taking that trade. Champion members also absolutely loving it. As uh, this guy says here, you change lives giving a trading plan, how you come to the plan and let people know you've executed the plan. Thank you. And you can just see from the comments even down below here. Absolute wonderful wonderful to see so many people profiting along with that call one of a kind truly cc ball for life uh you know you just can see people absolutely content with the effort and work that we're putting in here so from that low we obviously saw a lovely bounce to the upside and then with that bounce to the upside we see this breaking news now eight minutes ago you know with the uh, binance ceo pleading guilty um you know potentially stepping down as the ceo of binance and that naturally has given a uh, you know this bearish reaction to the downside so that is to be expected you know with the such a news article coming out you're going to get that pullback right um, you know, that's the important thing about locking in the profit. So, of course, as we come up, 
on the chart. We're not going to get greedy. We come up, hit just above $37,000. And for me, that was a take profit one off of the VWAP. That 100% guaranteed us profits. You know, that was coming on 4 p.m. And then we saw this news article break. What, this was around uh, 5.30 p.m. So you had one and a half hours to, you know, not get greedy, lock in the take profit there around the VWAP. And now we see that pullback. So, you know, with all that all said and done, you know, I wanted to spend this first, you know, five, 10 minutes of the video really just emphasizing uh, exactly what it means to buy the dip. Okay. When I say I'm bullish, I'm, I'm bullish. I'm expecting higher. That doesn't mean long into resistance. I might even attach to the end of this video, a, a five, uh, you know, five minute clip of exactly what I said to the champions. You know, we got to wait for the pullbacks. We've got to wait for those high areas of support. Then when that higher support comes that we've planned for, we don't get scared. We don't get fearful. We execute the plan and, you know, we, we take the trade. Then we don't get greedy as it comes up into profits. We take our take profit and we look then for the next setup. And of course, that came coincidentally <laughs> with uh, with some quite bearish news indeed. But, you know, from a trader's perspective, this is uh, this is wonderful. OK, this is really, really, really good. So what's next then? OK, so it's all well and good. <laughs> you know, we've, we've got uh, some lovely profits on that long. But what is next after this news? Am I remaining bullish? Do I still think we can come up and hit higher price targets? Or now is is that it? Is this actually uh, the the rally high? And, you know, it's, it's down and down and down from here, you know, with this very big bearish news. OK, I will give you my opinion, of course, as always, and my predictions. Uh, before that, I want to just give one announcement really quickly. And, uh, you know, obviously I've been uh, traveling around. I went to um, hang out with the best Korean traders, been hanging out with the uh, best Japanese whales, you know, the big, big, big traders that are always doing well in these competitions. I took the opportunity to trade alongside them, learn from them, you know, give them you know, my techniques, learn from their techniques. Of course, they are some of the best sculpt traders in the world. You know, you see the competitions, they are get, gaining tens and thousands of percent. On top of that trip, I then went over to Palau, uh, who, of course, if you're a champion, you know, uh, RNS Ideas helped out hundreds and hundreds of champions now uh, with the, uh, you know, the residency program for the KYC you know, it's, it's very uh, beneficial. And so I took the time to go out there and actually uh, meet with the founder of RNS uh, ID, as well as the governor uh, of Palau. So um, yeah, it was a really interesting experience. I just want to say this very quickly. If you want to hear more about that, if you want to know more about the, the residency program, uh, this is beneficial for traders, <laughs> not just traders, but it's actually beneficial for a lot of people. If you want to hear more about that, we're going to post it for free in our newsletter. And also in that newsletter, we'll be talking about the upcoming Black Friday, what this means for chart champions, what will be coming your way. If you want to be the first to know about the upcoming Black Friday, uh, things that we've got coming on in Chart Champions, as well as the full information about Palau, what we've got, what we've done there, you know, our experiences, even with the Korean traders, etc. You know, you can sign up for that free newsletter. I'll be in the comments description down below. Uh, and lastly, of course, reminder as always, if you want, you know, these type of trading plans given to you all ahead of time, daily streams every day you get a live stream if you want the new altcoin strategies if you want weekly altcoin dedicated streams if you want live trading all of it in the one-stop place the chart champions platform for beginners to advanced traders everything that you need to become successful learn the ways understand why i'm taking these longs why we've got the targets where we've got them okay this isn't magic this isn't random everything that i'm doing is taught you know, the reasons of this entry of the Fibonacci, naked point of controls, liquidity grabs, order flow, everything there that I use to take this trade and make profits is taught within the membership. So if you want to get on our level, you can absolutely do that and then learn to trade yourself, you know, with the information that we teach. So yeah, that was all of it that I wanted to go through there. And now, yeah, I will give you moving on to my opinion of what I'm looking at next in the market. Nine minute market. What a what a video. It's good, good a lot of information here. So, yeah, naturally, that long trade that I took there down at around 36, 300, I have no reason to close this yet. What my strategy is, is, of course, take take profit one off of the VWAP. I've already locked in take profit one. Keeping my stop loss, you know, below the low. That was my entry trigger. I'm currently got my stop loss below the low. Uh, and for me, this is a case now of if 
we come down and hit that stop loss. Of course, I get stopped out of that long trade. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the most important thing for me is making profits. And again, I've guaranteed myself profit uh, by hitting that take profit one target and have that stop loss set below the wick. My entry, you know, if you paid attention, was very, very close to the low. We're talking within, uh, you know, <laughs> a few minor percentage points. So I've got a very good entry, and that's just because I was planned for it, right? So uh, with that good entry, I've now locked in the take profit one, have my stop loss below the low, and I will wait for this to plan out. We'll even move up to the daily. So this is a new level that we got on the chart, which you got to be aware of. Of course, the major target sitting there still above the, above the highs to make new yearly highs. This daily definitely a big, big level of interest for me for that potential short earlier than this. So you might want to record that daily. Okay, bigger target sitting above there. Again, if we get the breakout, if we simply get through these levels, we're looking back up to the big psychological $40,000. Okay, prior to that, we have got the daily and the new yearly high levels for the failed auction swing failure pattern onto our higher time time frames previous range pointed controls there on coinbase on the cme chart right so all coming together really nicely for some confluence there uh for the failed auction prior to that we got the daily and again i will give my uh predictions live in the time exactly what i'm doing you know when i'm taking my trades you know the reasons why and sharing those trading plans um, so if you, you know, if you struggle with making trading plans, you know, if you're getting wrecks left, right and center, you know, just just having a very bad time trading. You know, I'll tell you this. Come along. See chart champions. Even if you've been a member in the past, we have made unprecedented changes. You know, we've really turned around our service, our attitude, uh, the professionalism. Right. It's just a totally different vibe than what we had a few years back. And, you know, that comes from, you know, the company's values and, and really putting in an extra level of, of effort and hard work and determination and really just making things clear and easier for you yourself, the, uh, you know, the member to, to succeed. That's what our, that's what we're here for. It's, uh, not to have fun and games. It's not to have a laugh. It's to actually make you into a profitable trader. So, uh, yeah, that, that's what we're here for. And that's the service we offer. If you want to become profitable, if you want to actually enjoy trading, you know, the place to be It is chart champions it has always been, and it, it remains that to be. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this has all made sense. Okay, I might attach this, uh, you know, few minute clip about me explaining why we buy the dip. That doesn't mean, though, just take a long here. Okay, you have to, you know, you have to really understand that just because I'm bullish and looking for higher doesn't mean I'd just long here because, we, again, we have resistance, big resistance right above us. So, you know, if I say I'm bullish and long, it means I would long a pullback to support. I wouldn't just long here up at resistance zone. Uh, which is a very bad long trade. Okay, this is a very, very bad long trade entry. So if I want to enter a long, I'm going to wait for a larger drop to the downside. Okay, so that's important. Whenever I say I'm bullish, long, no shorts, looking for higher, that does not mean just take a long right now. Because, you know, for example, I'd say that and we're at resistance. And then if you get a pullback, you know, you're going to be instantly underwater and wrecked. While I would be happily looking at that pullback thinking, okay, now I'm coming into my buy zone. Um, so yeah, that's just an important note in general. You don't want to buy just because, you know, I'm bullish. Yes, I'm bullish, but I would still be bullish even if we pulled all the way back to $34,000 sort of thing, right? So um, yeah, important to understand, you know, the next levels of my trades, uh, the confluences that we have and, you know, what I would prefer to see next. Yeah, bigger support there for me for the long would be for around that weekly naked point of control on the range value area high. Well, that's nice support. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how this progresses. But for me, trade the charts level to level as always. And, uh, you know, that's just a little bit of noise for me. Uh, I remain focused on my trading plan, my entries, my triggers, my next alerts to be set. And, uh, you know, just focused all on the technicals and making profits the chart champions way. So yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. If you want to see this, you know where to be. Chart champions. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.